Hey guys, my name is Digital, and today, guys, we have been permanently banned for no apparent reason on Modern Warfare. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everyone? This is your boy, Digital Chaser, and today I have some very sad news to tell y'all. I am still permanently banned from Modern Warfare for no apparent reason. And it was about two years ago when this started to take place. And I promise y'all, I don't understand why. And they claimed the permanently banned state was for cheating and exploit. And I don't, boys and girls, I do not cheat. And it was just one of them things that really got to me and really was like, really, Call of Duty? You're going to take out a permanently banned state on my account and this was three days after the launch of the game and it was just one of them things that was just like crazy mind top boggling and i just wanted to let y'all know that i am still permanently banned from modern warfare what do y'all boys and girls think do y'all think y'all think um there's any way of getting that account back i personally don't think there is because there was other people on their website as i'm showing right now on the screen there was other people on their website that's got permanently banned and it was just like it's like come on call of duty why why would you ban innocent people that's just playing and it was i only had the game for three days this was after the launch after the official launch of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and that account still banned, what I did was I pretty much recreated another account, and I was able to play it again. Now, um, here, if y'all want to see the video, I want to link the video. I'm actually going to put the video on the screen now. So if y'all boys enjoy, this is your boy Digital signing out. Hope y'all boys enjoy. Um, I'm just still per pretty much pissed about it, but here's the video. I hope y'all boys and girls enjoy. Stay frosty, everyone. Hey guys, my name is Digital, Digital and today, guys, out. we have been permanently banned for no apparent reason on Modern Warfare. Let's talk about it. Guys, this is uh, your boy Digital Chaser back to you. Yeah, I got some troubling news. Um, after trying to play the uh, Call of Duty game after the launch of... Uh, maybe I might have played the game two days. But um, here's the, the history, the way things kind of took place. Um, after two days of playing the game and then not being able to connect to online services, I've been permanently banned for no reason as of today i can't believe that but before today i've been reaching out to customer service for help uh with no results from uh activision blizzard been leaving web tickets uh with no response uh they've they've tried to help me in some ways but they would put in there that the ticket has been resolved and that you know the ticket has not been resolved uh, therefore, you know, because none of them ever helped me get reconnected from the era that kept coming up as far as uh, uh, unable to connect to online services. Um, every day I've been trying to log in to play. I've even left messages on uh, Activision support on the Twitter part. Um, I did have one person re reply to me. Uh, just for a short minute and uh, you know they suggested trying to update this and update that uh, reinstall the game um, you know trying to do the things on my end as far as my computer and uh, I which I've told them I've already done all that because at the time I was having um, unable to connect to online service errors and um you know so therefore they thought it was on my end so they suggested that i would go and try to log in on someone else's computer with my account and see if i could actually uh you know connect to the servers that way which it failed so it showed that there was a problem on their end or my account um but the the unbelievable happened today as i approached my computer i 
logged in as I've been doing for the past um, over a week now trying to get connected to uh, the Call of Duty servers and it actually said that I've been permanently banned and the bad thing about these bans is is I've not even been playing the game I mean it's just so unreal that that I would be put in a permanent ban state and I've not even been playing the game I may have played the game two days um, you know and after looking at the online policies about what causes a ban um, as you can see here on the uh, screen that there's um, uh, multiple reasons that could cause a person to be banned permanently and I've not been I, I've not failed you know to do any of those things on my behalf well for you know for one the biggest reason is is I you know I don't attend to, to be a cheater or hacker or anything like that I always played my games honestly and I've just not done any of those things wrong I mean I've which for one I've not even been playing the game to be banned um and then I've done some more research, more digging, and there's others other than myself, as you can see here, that has the same issue. They have been wrongfully banned um, from the game. Uh, no explanation, no reasons why, just banned. And the bans actually come from Infinity Wars. says they have a um, certain team that does uh, research you know to make sure that they don't do any false bans and obviously this is one uh band that they definitely have got wrong um i promise you uh because i was looking forward to actually playing the game i've been so excited to play the game um i've always been a battlefield fan i always played battlefield and unfortunately for on my behalf as i spent 60 dollars to to reach out and try to play call of duty after so many years of playing battlefield uh, which now is sort of is left a bad taste in my mouth uh, that I've even made the attempt to play a Call of Duty game and now uh, to to be in this state as far as uh, uh, to you know have a band on me it's bad enough not to being able to connect to online servers I thought maybe we could work that out throughout all the bugs that was left in the uh, game you know that uh, was so many bugs in the game people entered the map uh shaders not right video settings not right people crashing you name it the, the game was uh had more bugs than uh uh, uh the bug man the, you know so i thought well you know some of these problems could be worked out hopefully uh coming in the future with the patches being released and you know i thought it was just gonna be as something as simple as one day log in and then uh, the online service error be gone uh, but unfortunately when i come in today uh, i actually tried to log in um, and see see what the uh, see what the status of the uh, connection of the game would be today and it said is i've actually been banned um uh you know i've tried multiple times of uh connecting uh talking to uh, customer service through both activision and blizzard um chasing their online post uh to related problems and all the way to waiting uh waiting in line on chat for hours and no one even answering um placing web tickets you know with blizzard and activision um none of them being answered just it seemed like it was a ra you know it's just a rat race um of nothing but dead ends when it comes to trying to speak to someone or get a problem resolved it doesn't make sense at all for a company at this size um, you know they you see google reports talking about how big the sales was for this game or how big of a company this is and for them to have uh, mediocre I, I would say less than mediocre customer service and then come out with uh, a false band on my half um, you know and it's another thing to not even have a customer service phone number to where you could actually speak to a blood pumping human other than some post that's been on a 
on a web page that doesn't solve your problem. Uh, you know, you can you can pick up a magazine and read as much stuff and get about the same as help from uh, reading a magazine as you can just going on their uh, their website actually researching their problems. Um, you know, I don't know. It, you have to wonder, do they really care about their customer service or are they just here to, to collect the money? You know, is this another way of them just taking someone's money that they worked so hard to pay for the game and then not to even get to play? You know, um, where do we go from here? You know, because I've read where they once you get permanently banned, um, it's a final decision and there's there's no reversing it which that doesn't make sense because even though they said that the bands are being uh researched uh from um infinity war um so that there's no uh false bands it's just unreal you know someone has actually made drop the ball on this one i promise you guys um because i have no reason um to do anything to violate any policy uh you know i tried to speak with blizzard try to speak with activision and explain to them that there must be something going on with uh with my account um you know for me not to be able to connect uh on my computer let alone someone else's um you know it is nothing wrong with the hardware it has to be something wrong with the exchange uh from uh, my computer or my account actually from my account to their web servers um you know but it seems like i'm not the only one there's others out there that has been permanently banned uh for no apparent reason um, you know, and it's just not right. It, it is absolutely not right. Um, you know, I, I would hope that Activision, someone from Activision would possibly see this video or see my post, um, you know, and do the right thing, um, as far as, uh, releasing or releasing the band or, uh, somehow let's working around this, but, you know, um, I would just say, you know, hopefully none of none of y'all fall victim to the same thing that has happened to me. Um, you know, leave a leave a comment below the video if you've uh, maybe you fell victim to this, or maybe you've had a problem with it in the past. Maybe you know a way of working around this. Um, maybe you've got a contact number that'll help me out to get this problem resolved. Um, you know, because I really look forward to this. You know, because. Uh, with this release of Call of Duty was much different from any other so that's sort of what brought me uh, to wanting to play the game after coming from Battlefield um, you know it seemed like it uh, uh, this Call of Duty offered something for both Call of Duty players and the Battlefield players and um, and then to come to find out it, it was just uh, a big letdown it's, it's, it's been a big letdown uh, from the very beginning but you know uh, so look out guys hopefully someone out there doesn't fall victim of the same thing uh, from a sorry company as these you know that's the only thing I can say it, it doesn't seem like uh, they they really uphold their customers or appreciate them uh, for them to uh, just put it out there uh, that you know there's there's no reverse and there's no talking about it um you know that if you get deemed uh banned they don't even uh give you a reason why they don't even tell you what you've been guilty of doing it just says you've been permanently banned and uh you know how can i be banned when i've only played two days you know two days after launch and ever since after that it's been failed to connect to online services and then mysteriously there's a message comes up that i've been permanently banned it doesn't make sense i guess i should have stuck with battlefield never had this problem with battlefield um you know so uh maybe ea does a better job you know but uh anyway this is your boy digital um y'all keep your eyes out there and stay frosty
make sure you like and subscribe hit that bell icon that way you'll be the uh, first one to see the content that i post um and we hope to see you in the next one